Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the ruler tool called the measure tool in CS2 and prior versions to make measurements on an image. You can access this tool by right clicking on the eyedropper tool button in the toolbox that's located right here and that will display the other tool choices in a menu and then you select the ruler tool and left click. It looks like a small ruler. Now to use the ruler tool just click and drag from one point to another point to create a measurement line. Click and drag. And if you look in the options bar or the info panel depending on what version you're using you'll see the information for the measurement like the height and width and you'll see that all up here. Now when you draw a second measurement click and drag you will immediately lose the first measurement. However, you can actually draw up to two lines in a measurement if you need to find the angle or arc. To do this, draw the first line as we've done here. Then hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click and drag from the point where you ended the first line to create a second line. So hold down the Alt key and then click and drag. And then you can see that you can measure the angle in this case 40 degrees. You can move a measurement by simply clicking and dragging on the measurement line to move it to a different location. Anywhere you like. You can click the clear button on the options bar. It's located right here at the end to clear the measurements from the image that you have created when you're finished. You can also use the ruler tool to straighten an image for times when you want to correct a crooked picture. You can specify a new straight edge and then rotate the image according to your line. Photoshop will crop the image automatically to eliminate any areas that extend beyond the new boundaries. So to straighten an image, you select the ruler tool and then click and drag into your image to draw the line that represents your new straight edge that you want. So for example, if we wanted to, we could click and drag like this. Then click the Straighten button up in the Options bar, and you'll see that it straightens the image according to the new straight edge that you drew. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.